So you're learning JavaScript and you've played around with some tools in the browser that can run that JavaScript for you, but how do you run JavaScript on your own, on your computer? In this video, we'll take a look at running Node JavaScript inside of VS Code. All right, so just wanna start off with a little bit of a shout out here. I, for those of you who don't know, am teaching a bootcamp called Launch Code, and this round of this bootcamp is virtual. So it's got all of its interesting challenges, but what we're doing is we've been starting off using a tool called Replit, where we can write JavaScript in the browser and run that JavaScript in the browser. And I bet a lot of you have done something similar, either on free code camp or on W3 schools or lots of other things where you can run JavaScript in the browser. Well, we're really ready here to kind of run this stuff on our own inside of VS Code, and that's what I wanna show. So the two things you're gonna to need to be able to run JavaScript inside of VS Code on your machine, well, you're gonna need VS Code and you're gonna need Node installed. So uh, code.visualstudio.com, you can download VS Code for either Mac or Windows. It's a pretty straightforward process of click, 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 and there it should be good to go. Similarly with Node, so from nodejs.org, you can download either the installer for Windows or Mac. And for people, if you're on uh, if you're on Linux as well, you can do that uh, also uh, with VS Code and Node as well. But most prom prominently, we're talking about Windows and Mac. So you'll need to have both of those two things installed. Now, let's go ahead and look at VS Code. And I'm kind of approaching this from like you're brand new to VS Code and you're trying to figure out what's going on. The first thing you probably want to do is to open a project or a folder of some sort. So notice that I've got lots of things that I've done in my recent. Well, you may not have anything. So let's start with opening a folder. And now VS Code is gonna let us go and choose where we want this to be. Well, a lot of my code lives in a directory called code and you can see here's all the things that are in there. And then I have a delete me folder, which is where I can kind of throw stuff that I know I don't need to keep. So this is where I'm gonna work. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a JavaScript test folder. So this is just, it doesn't matter what you call it. It doesn't matter where it is on your computer, but pick a folder and it probably has nothing in it to start. So go ahead and open that up. VS Code will open that folder. It will show you in the Explorer on the left what files there are inside of that folder. In this case, I don't have any and that's totally fine. So I can create a file in here uh, and I can call this app.js for example. And now I can write a line of JavaScript. So again, I'm kind of uh, thinking about Node JavaScript instead of browser JavaScript. So specifically for Node here. So I've got this, uh, got this file, I've got a piece of code in here. Now, how do I actually run it? Well, the beautiful thing, at least from my perspective of uh, VS Code is that it has a built-in terminal. So if you go to view and then hit the terminal here, you can toggle the terminal that's built into VS Code. And this is where we can run our Node command to be able to run this file. Now I've gone through and I've kind of customized my terminal. You can uh, go into the VS Code configurations and you can choose what your ter preferred terminal is. If you're on Windows, probably by default, it's gonna be uh, either command prompt or, I'm totally blanking on the other, PowerShell is the name of the other one. And on Mac, it's probably just the built-in terminal. So I've got mine customized a little bit, but you should have a terminal, ter terminal, a terminal in here. And this is really cool because you don't have to open up like a separate application, it's right inside of VS Code. So what you do, since you have Node installed and you can double check this with Node-V to double check that it is installed and it should show you which version is installed. From here, now I can run node app.js. So node and then the app, the name of the file that I wanna run. So if I run uh, app.js, it will run hello world. If I then created a new file and called that app2 and said, Hello world two, uh, uh, whatever. It's not a super important. And then run a previous or run a new command of node app two. This will run the second one. So any file that you want to run, you can run that way. Now, the other thing I want to show you is there's a package called nodemon, which is insanely cool. It's really, really cool. And you can install nodemon npm install dash G of N O D M O N. And what this will do is basically start a live reloading server for a node file. So once you have that installed, you can do this. You can say node app.js, and sorry, actually nodemon app.js, because we're trying to do, use nodemon here. And it will tell you, hey, it started node app.js, and it's kind of waiting for changes to restart. Changes uh, come on save. So when I save this file, I just did, it restarted here. If I uh, update this, uh, then notice that it reruns this again. So this is a live reloading server with node. It's fantastic, I highly recommend this. Now, the last thing I wanna show you that is uh, very useful as well is inside of VS Code, there are lots of extensions. You can search these, they're super easy to install. 
And there's one called, called, called Quoka. And this is a JavaScript and TypeScript playground in your editor. So with this extension installed, what you can do is Command Shift P or uh, Control Shift P to get the command palette. Uh, command Shift P on Mac, Control Shift P on Windows. And then here you can then search uh, Quoka and then say new JavaScript file. So this thing will create a file for you and notice that it switched down here from terminal to output and I can run something in here. Oh, that should be a string if I know how to type real code. So here's my hello world. Notice that it kind of shows me what the result is here, but then it also is a live reloading server and will show me down here. So this actually uses the node commands underneath the hood, but it does the same type of thing. So I would say anytime I'm just trying to like do a little bit of scratch pad work, just testing something out really quickly, I would throw it into here and see if I get the results that I expect. But the majority of my stuff would be actually working in different files, running the node or node mon command from the built-in terminal in VS Code. Again, I like that all this stuff is really packaged together. And uh, that's how I do it. So I'm curious if there's any uh, if there's any steps or tips and tricks you have for running Node inside of VS Code that I might have missed, throw them down in the chat below. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully for the people in class, this is helping us as we transition to VS Code. Anyways, thanks again for checking out the video and I'll catch you next time.